again. I uh, appreciate you all taking the time to look at my uh, video, No Shock Extreme 2. Um, I've had about four different uh, uh, versions or iterations of this, and uh, I may have finally uh, settled on uh, one version that's going to work the best. It's compact. Uh, you can remove the camera without using my original design of double stick tape, uh, which worked, but you just can't change the camera around. And uh, so what I want to do here um, is uh, first let you know that it's $65 plus $5 shipping. Uh, that's my new price. And uh, I'm going to give a little demonstration of how to uh, uh, attach it to the rifle and attach it to... Um, attach and detach the camera from the device itself. Um, uh, another thing, uh, this is made, like as you can see, to attach on an AR rifle or on a bolt action rifle that either has a Picatinny rail incorporated into one of the scope cap, the scope mount caps, or has a um, Picatinny rail one piece base that goes over the ejection port. It'll reach in underneath the scope and attach. Um, my device will reach in under the scope and attach onto that Picatinny uh, base or that Weaver base. Uh, I'll, sh I'll have a couple of pictures of that uh, to show you that that works. Uh, so right now, what I'm going to do is uh, move the camera and show you how to take it off the gun and you know put it on and then uh, I'll show you how to take the camera off of my video no shock extreme 2 so I'll be right back Woo! okay I'm back now I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, deinstall this or take it off all you do is take a uh, hex head wrench an eighth inch eighth inch hex head wrench Right here, get it out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Take the little device off, and there it is. That's all there is to it. Very simple, awesome little design. It just goes back in there and holds it on. And put it back on, as you can easily tell. You, know, you just slide it back in underneath the scope. Uh, if it's a um, scope cap that you have mounted on your scope mount, it would mount up here on that scope cap. Back here, whichever place, a lot of them, uh, Burris sells one that uh, has a Picatinny rail uh, incorporated into a scope mount cap on the top, Burris. I think it's called the P R a Pepper P E R P or P E P R I think a P E P E P R <laughs> but it works really well I've used them before okay now like I said to put it back on you just slide this thing back in here line up the little clamp tighten the screw a little bit. Tighten it back down. And just snug it up. It doesn't have to be anything more than snug. <clears throat> then I'll move the camera around here so you can see it from the other side. And that's all there is to it. It's all, it's made entirely out of metal. Uh, this section here, my video No Shock Extreme, um, that that absorbs the shock of the recoil because it moves. When the gun goes backward when you fire it, it stays in position. And then it moves both ways. So when the gun recoils, it's back, it sets still, and then when it kind of oscillates, the gun actually will oscillate. This thing will will oscillate also, but it'll just it'll soak up the uh, the vibration. It will not damage your camera or your expensive night vision optics. There's a lot of folks out there using night vision. Um, 
So it's very simple design, very rugged. Uh, this section here is the uh, that uh, hold, that clamps onto your uh, Picatinny rail is an off-the-shelf uh, Cly C L E Y Zion uh, device that I use. Now this particular one is uh, cut off right here, and uh, when you get yours, I can either do it one of two ways. I can either cut it off and finish it up really nicely for you like that, or it comes it comes like this. And uh, if you want, uh, it can be on your uh, weapon mounted like this and left sticking out like that so you can uh, put your optic on there if you have a larger camera or if you just want it sticking out there so you can until you figure out what you want to do. That's what I would suggest because it's easy to just chop that off right there and just put a little bit of black paint on it. Um, now I'm going to set the camera down here and take it off and show you how to remove the cam corner quarter from my video No Shock Extreme. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now what I'm going to try to show you here is uh, how to uh, take uh, the, the uh, video camera um, off of my video No Shock Extreme. So all you'd have to do, it's a little tricky, but you might even need a, uh, somebody to hold this back for you because this, this device here moves back and forth, like I said. It's spring-loaded. You can see the springs right there. And uh, there's two springs. I think you can see that. And uh, so what you uh, got to do, there's slots under here, and I don't want to show that because that's my design and it's proprietary. I've got a, I'm applying for a patent or a copyright, one of the two. So what you do, you slide this uh, device forward until you can reach in to that slot with a screwdriver. You just pry forward. You can see down in there, you reach in with that screwdriver, and you just unscrew that screw. That's all there is to it. Like I said, it's a little tricky because the spring is going to be fighting you, but that's okay. Keep unscrewing it till it comes completely out. Okay, it's out, and it comes off. The spring, it, and it just attaches to a typical little hole in, uh, in, a, in a camcorder, a little threaded hole. And uh, my device um, kind of captures that little screw in there too for you, so, it won't, so you can't lose the screw. And if you do, it's just a quarter, twenty screw. There's a little screw. It'll just fall right out. Whatever you need to do, just pull it. Just pull it back. Like I said, it's just a little bit cumbersome because you're fighting the springs. But just pull it back. Grab yourself a little pair of needle nose pliers. That's if it falls out on you, which is okay. Grab yourself a little pair of needle nose pliers. Pull it back. Slide that in there. There's your little bolt. Slide that back in there. Turn it upside down so it'll fall. And it pops right back in there. There's that little screw right there. That attaches to your camera. Now to put it back on the camera, you just reverse the process. Like I said, it's a little tricky. Now this this little stob right here, this really it's threaded, but it's uh, it doesn't thread up into the camera. It goes into this particular camera. If your camera doesn't have that, I make this so you can just back that out and just put a little rubber washer on here. Uh, so when you tighten this uh, uh, bolt down here, it puts friction against it and it won't allow it to move around. But this stob right here goes in that hole. right there. It's not threaded. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's not threaded. This is the threaded hole, and this is just the alignment hole that keeps everything uh, lined up in one direction. So, what you do, self-explanatory, you just line everything back up. That little stop goes in that little hole. And then the other screw is set up in the right position to insert your uh, 
if I can do this with this. Like I said, it's a little bit cumbersome. I just put the take the Phillips screwdriver or whichever one that I have on there inside that slot and just start tightening it down. I think you can see what I'm doing there. Snug it up, not too tight, because that's just not very heavy duty. And then, you know, I'll let that screwdriver fall out. Boop, and then the screwdriver just falls out. That's all there is to it. Um, it's very heavy duty. This heavy steel that I make this out of. I so said, like, this part here is the uh, aluminum. It's an aircraft grade aluminum. It's heavy. I mean, it's really stiff and, and tough, almost tough as steel. It's hard to, hard to cut with a, with a uh, hacksaw. But the rest of these two pieces here are made out of steel. But uh, I've used this design on my, um, the, the, the concept of it now for over four years, going on five years. I've never had trouble with it. I mean, these springs, everything's out of the way. Nothing's... Nothing's grabbing your coat or anything like that. They, it's just they don't get in the way. It works really well. Um, so um, I'm going to put it back on the gun and uh, be right back. Okay, one more time. Here's my device. Just slides in anywhere. You can put it up here. You can put it here. You can put it back behind by the scope, on the back part of the scope if you want. Just anywhere there's a Picatinny rail, and anywhere it'll fit on there that you want it. For some reason you want it way up forward, uh, you can do that. But uh, so all you do is just insert this little piece here. A little screw into the slot and put it up next to it. Put the little screw back down. Snug it just a little bit. That's all there is to it. Give you another look at it on this side. Like I said, it'll work on an AR and it'll work on a bolt action that's fitted with a piece of Picatinny rail either over the ejection port or up on top of the scope mount caps. Got a, I think it's got a kind of a tactical look to it myself. Looks very good on there. Solid. Moves back and forth like that, you know, on those springs. You can see those springs moving. To absorb the shock of the recoil of your rifle. It's, uh, like I said, if you want to buy just the device, it's $65 plus $5 shipping um, to the lower 48 states. And um, the cameras, if you want the camera, depends on which camera uh, that you want, uh, will uh, increase the price uh, anywhere from... Oh, 80 to 120 dollars somewhere along in there. Uh, I try to keep that, or maybe a little bit more. It's like I said, about my most expensive price is uh, 145 dollars. That's for a, a full HD JVC camcorder, and I get my camcorders. This, like this particular camcorder here, it's brand new, but it is old stock. It's about four years old, the technology, but it's, I find these things on Amazon and on eBay, and I get good deals on them, and I check them out, and uh, I'm elect for retired electronics technicians, so um, I know how to uh, check things out, make sure they're working. I program them all for you. It's ready, out of the box, ready to hunt. You don't have to do a bunch of programming uh, to get it working properly. Uh, I get all the chimes out of there so it doesn't make noise when you're trying to operate it. Um, 
um, it has a flash memory, a little uh, SD card on the other side uh, slot, in, uh, which makes it even more rugged instead of having a, a hard drive disk. Some of these older ones got a hard drive. It still won't bother them when my system won't bother them, but it just makes it a little bit more rugged. But I can put, you can put your any your any camera you have on there also. I would suggest buying the unit. And if you have already have a camcorder, just slap it on there and it'll work. It will not knock your camera out of uh, focus, and you'll be able to zoom in on the animal and get it to the right power, so it won't look like a little ant walking around in your video. And there's there's a lot of videos that people get that I've seen on YouTube that, boy, they're just sick because they just couldn't get a nice picture. One guy had a wolf that just walked right out of his, his, the frame of his camera. He was trying to do a solo a hunt, and he had just a small camera like this, but he had it sitting on a tripod next to him. And right as, right as he's ready to shoot, it walked out of his viewfinder, and he had to shoot, didn't get it on film. Another guy shot a, a, a nice cat, didn't get it on film. Couldn't zoom in on it, and when they pull the trigger, it, it goes out of focus. So, um, this little device will work well for you. Um, oh, uh, let me go back and uh, I'll sit down here, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, like I said, my video No Shock Extreme 2, I sell it for $65 plus $5 shipping. And uh, you'll see my uh, email address there, just uh, email me. And um, if you want to pay me uh, with PayPal, I take that and I use this, you know, my same email address as my PayPal address at wigsan at embarkmail.com. Or I will take a money order if you send it to my uh, address and I'll give you that uh, upon request. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and uh, like I said, this thing is, will work, work really well for you, us, uh, especially us solo hunters when you can't find anybody to go with you, because uh, they're wanting to hunt too. But um, uh, if you have any questions at all, um, just contact me on my email or on my YouTube channel here, and um, I'll try to get them answered for you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching this.